Moses. And he says that he will provide for his people. If uh, you could read that in Exodus 16, verse 8. And Moses said, This shall be when the Lord shall give you in the evening flesh to eat, and in the morning bread to the full, for that the Lord heareth your murmurings, which you murmur against him, and what are we? Your murmurings are not against us, but against the Lord. So God says that he will provide for them. And he also says that he will show them that he is their God. So um, he says that he will provide them manna and quail. And uh, if you see the picture, the small round things is manna and the birds is quail. And manna was like, um, it was small and it was white like coriander and it tasted like honey wafers. So it would have tasted like really nice. <laughs> and he told them to collect one omer, which is equivalent to two quarts, which is quite a big amount, and that's for one person. And he provided that for 2.4 million people, mm -hmm. which is a lot, especially since they were very, very tiny. Okay, so God provided for them, and he provided exactly how much that they needed. Whoever collected more didn't have excess. And whoever collected less didn't uh, like feel that they needed more. So God provided, and He began to remove their cravings because this manna would have tasted very nice and sweet and tasty. So they didn't. They started to not want what they had in Egypt, and God was providing for them every day. They got it. And they began to see that what God provided for them was better than what Egypt could provide for them. <laughs> and if you notice, the manna was coming from heaven. It was like rain. So the people, when they woke up in the morning for their food, they looked up to God. They didn't look around their houses to other people for food, but they looked up to God to provide for them. Amen. 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 Next slide. The third part is called a new word every day. So um, every day, God provided them with this manna and quail for 40 years, which is a very long time. And he told them, don't keep it for the next day. And he said that he will provide for them every day. And whoever kept it for the next day, it had maggots and it was smelled bad and I just I couldn't eat it. So we provide for them every day new manna and new quail. Amen. But on the sixth day, he said specifically, collect for two days. Why? Because the next day was Sabbath and it was day of rest, which is a gift from God. Amen. And they weren't allowed to work on the Sabbath. So God specifically told them, go on the sixth day and collect for two days, and I will provide for you Amen. the amount for two days. Amen. So God provides a new word to us every day. Every day we need to look up to God, and we need to ask Him for His word, and for a new revelation. We shouldn't think that, okay, one day God has given me this wonderful revelation, every day I'm going to say the same thing, and... I'm going to live a wonderful life. So read the Bible one day. If you just read one chapter of the Bible, you're never going to know what's going to happen, or you're never going to learn the other things which God has talked to, to has taught us in His Bible. So every day we need to remember God, and we need to look up to Him to provide for us. Amen. And uh, next. The next part, we're going to call it, remember what God has done. Joshua. God asked Moses to preserve one omer, which was the amount that they collected for per person, uh, of a container of manna, and to keep it in the Ark of the Covenant for their generations, to show what God has done for them and 
how he provided for them every day for 40 years, manna and quail. So we need to always praise God for what he has done. And we need to share it with others. We need to teach others, teach our children. And not forget what God has done. We shouldn't praise ourselves. Like, if we get a job promotion, we should think it's because I worked hard that I got this. It's because God provided for you. Amen. And we need to give God praise Amen. in everything that we do. Amen. Amen. Come out and even collect manna on the seventh day. Yes. 